Today's Thursday, so uh, the um, question today for the Ask Ellen edition, Melissa says, when does severe weather start here in Michigan? Perfect timing. Yeah, this is a great question. I love that it was asked about a week ago, and I was like, oh, we've got material for that. Well, typically, we start to see severe weather system or season kick off in the spring. And the reason why, I'm going to float this backwards and then animate it forward again. The reason why is we have our jet stream. And our jet stream is always around every season. But in the springtime, we start to see it drop from the north down to the south. And just simply put, our jet stream separates the cold air from the warm air. So as this starts migrating down from the poles, we start to see more of a collision across the U.S. of warm and cold air. So it just kickstarts severe weather season since in the mid latitudes where we live, we usually need that cold and warm air collision in order for strong to severe storms to form. So if we look monthly, calendar year for the nation, we typically see the most severe weather reports in April, May, and June. Now this graph is just showing tornado activity, but this goes for all severe weather activity. April, May, June usually is when we start to see the bullseye. Now keep in mind, we could see a tornado or severe weather at any time of the year. It's just that severe weather season usually holds off into the spring. So I want to show you this in terms of tornadoes for Michigan. So what we have here is month by month how many tornadoes we've seen. January, we've had one reported tornado, an EF0 down near Kalamazoo and Portage. There's February, again, a few EF1s. Check out March. You can see an eruption of tornadoes, but still kind of on the weaker side, except for the Dexter tornado, which was an EF3. Here we get into April, the most active and severe month by far. This is when we usually see the most intense tornadoes in West Michigan. May, we see quite a few tornadoes, but they're usually EF1 or less. And then as we get into June, same story, a lot of EF2s, EF1s. The trend continues through the summer and then gradually dies out. There's September, October, and then off into November and December. So again, Michelle, we can technically see severe weather at any time of year, but that real bullseye happens when we see the spring. Yeah right on time this yep. year yeah all right thanks Ellen if you have a question that you would like to ask Ellen you can send it over to the seven at woodtv.com